This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a rectangle made up of four triangles and it wants us to find the area of the white triangle. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, I'm thinking I wanna write a formula that we can solve for the area. So if we called the width of the rectangle W and the height of the rectangle H, then we have everything we need to write a formula for the question mark. The area of the white triangle will equal the area of the entire rectangle, which is WH, minus the areas of each of these three triangles. And then we can combine like terms negative 134 minus 55 minus 36 is the same thing as negative 225. And this is the formula formula we can use to find the area of the white triangle. Let's put a box around it and move it down here. Next, I want to try to express all these remaining distances in terms of W or H. Let's do this distance right here. Let's call it X. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So for this triangle here, it'll be a base of X times the height of H, whole thing divided by two will equal the area of 36. And then to get the X all by itself, we'll multiply both sides by two over H. On the left hand side, we'll be left with X because the two will cancel and the H's will cancel. And on the right hand side, the 36 will multiply by the two to give us 72 over H. And now we have the value for this distance X. Let's change it into 72 over H. And now that we have this distance, we also know this distance. It's gonna be the whole width W minus the 72 over H. That'll be this distance right here. So, so far everything's in terms of W and H. And then we can do the same thing for this side of the rectangle. Let's call this portion Y and we can write a formula for the yellow triangle. It'll be the base of W times the height of Y divided by two equals the area of 134. For this one, we wanna solve for Y, so we're gonna multiply both sides by two over W. On the left-hand side, we'll be left with Y. Does that make sense, Y? It's because the twos and the Ws will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, 134 times two is 268, and it's still divided by W. And now we've found the distance Y. We can change this into 268 over W. And then since we have this distance, we also have this distance. It'll be the entire height of the rectangle H minus the 268 over W. That's this right here. And then we can focus on the area of the blue triangle. It'll be this times this divided by two equals 55. And then from here, we can get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by two. On the left-hand side, the twos will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, 55 times two is 110. Now let's multiply all this out. We get H times W, which is HW, and then H times negative 72 over H will just be negative 72 because the H's will cancel each other out. And then negative 268 over W times W will be just negative 268 because once again, the W's will cancel each other out. And then negative 268 over W times negative 72 over H ends up being 19,296 over HW. And on the right-hand side, it's still 110. Now from here, what do we do? Let's add 340 to both sides. On the left, hand side all this will cancel out and on the right hand side 110 plus 340 is 450 and then next oh we have hw that's the same thing as wh let's change each of these into wh and let's smush everything together once we solve for the wh we'll have the answer to the question first let's get the wh out of the denominator Let's multiply both sides of both equations by WH. On the left-hand side, this WH will distribute to both of these. For this one, it gives us WH squared, and WH times 19,296 over WH is just 19,296, because the WHs will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, we'll have 450 WH. And now if we think of WH as a variable, we have a quadratic, because we have a WH squared, a WH, and a constant. Let's set it all equal to zero by subtracting 450 WH from both sides. On the right-hand side, this all becomes zero, and on the left-hand side, we can smush everything together. This might be factorable, but I'm not gonna try it. Let's just do quadratic formula. For our problem, X is equal to WH, A is equal to one, B is equal to negative 450, and C is equal to 19,296. Negative 450 squared is equal to 202,500 minus four times one times 19,296, which is equal to 77,184. And then on bottom, two times one is equal to two. From here, inside of the square root, this minus this equals 125,316. And this is a perfect square. The square root of this is 354. So we end up with 450 over two plus or minus 354 over two. And that's the same thing as 225 plus or minus 177. 
I took up too much room doing all this. Let's clean this up and give ourselves some room. This plus or minus means we're gonna have a plus version and a minus version. For the plus version, this plus this is 402. And for the minus version, this minus this is 48. So this 402 and the 48 are the two possible areas of our rectangle. The 402 seems reasonable, but 48 is definitely too small. There's no way the area of the entire rectangle is less than the sum of the three triangles. So this 48 answer is not valid. And now we can find the area of our white triangle. In the place of the WH, let's plug in 402. And 402 minus 225 is 177. Let's smush everything together, give it a label, and that is the answer to our question. And it's already in a box. The area of this white triangle is 177. How exciting. If you want to fine tune your algebra or geometry skills so you can solve problems like this one, Brilliant.org has you covered. Brilliant has thousands of lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And all of them are interactive, which is the most effective way to learn. I love going through these geometry challenges, but sometimes I really do get stuck. For example, on this one, this is my first attempt. I ended up all the way here with four variables and I got stuck. I wasn't exactly sure what to do for for the next step, so I ended up starting completely over. Scrapping all this and I tried a different method. Luckily, you won't ever have this problem on brilliant.org. You're not gonna spend any time going in the wrong direction. Everything is carefully thought out and you're given all the hints and explanations you need to keep going in the right direction. There's minimal confusion and no wasted time. It really is a fun way to learn. I've enjoyed all the math classes. There's geometry, algebra, calculus, vectors, probability, and much more. And there's a lot of content that isn't math. Science courses, programming, artificial intelligence, data analysis, and much more. To try Brilliant for free, visit brilliant.org slash antimath or scan the QR code on the screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. How exciting.